I've only been playing instruments about maybe seven years, and my son Lou um, has always been musically inclined, and they kind of got me going on the bass. I guess I always just kind of wanted to make a guitar for some reason, and we had a party where one got broken, and, and so I started seeing kind of how they were made. You get so much into them when you're making them, because it takes me like a month or so probably, because I do it after work from roofing. It really just comes down to looking at a guitar and, you know, making it work and being able to use tools. We use pretty very basic tools, a, a planer, a table saw, and jigsaw, and it's just, I think most any carpenter could do it if he put his mind to it. I've, I've done um, basically everything on them. I make the necks and the fretboards and some of those guitars with the portraits in them, there's like close to 400 pieces of wood. When he made my first guitar, it was made out of my grandfather's cabinets. After he passed away, we remodeled the house for my grandma, took the cabinet wood and turned it into a guitar and that's the only guitar I've played. I put all the other expensive ones away and they just, it's hard to beat. Playing music in general, you have to, you have to get into it. You know, you feel it inside and when you're playing something that means a lot, it's easier to let it out through the instrument. Everybody who gets a guitar knows where the wood came from, a story of it. Um, and I think that's a big selling point too, is when you get something that's not shipped over from China, it's, it's local, it's got history, it's a little easier to fall in love with. It's got like a history to it. For example, there's guitars here that are made, we, we worked out in Casadega in, in our roofing business and we put a roof on the, the bookstore out there. So I got a bunch of wood from the roof of that and I thought, you know, when we tore the old hundred year old boards off of the roof, you could smell the incense coming from, you could even smell it in the guitar for the longest time just from passing through. And that's what it's about. I started playing guitar when I was around 14 when um, my Uncle Joe gave me um, one of his acoustics. Part of the guitar came from my grandfather's old house and um, from wood around here and so that just made it all the more special to us. We make them with all wood that's either we get off of the job sites or we pick up tables and stuff off the side of the road and stuff because it's not about the money, it's just about the recycled wood. You really get into it when you're making it, but by the time you're just about done, you're thinking about the next one and what it could be.